Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks video. Today we are playing with our submarine again, as you guys can see right here. And, um, we got a few things to fix, I suppose. Uh, one of those things is how fast we're going. This is our full speed, and it is extremely slow. So, uh, we're gonna fix that by, um, we're actually gonna remove the engine. Well, we're not removing the engine. We're gonna go ahead and place the engine, uh, the power from the engine, which is here. Uh, and that's gonna go straight into... The other engines, okay? Um, because, I guess it kind of makes sense, maybe. Um, but because uh, that is enough power to power both of these, if that makes sense. These engines create 60,000 powers, and these rotors, or these um, propellers, take 100,000 each. So at the minute, this one's only getting 60,000, this one's also only getting 60,000, and this one's getting 60,000. But if all of them, or if the both two of the side ones got 90,000, then I assumed that it would go faster. That was that was one of the comments, at least. So, um, thanks for suggesting that. We'll try it out. Hey! Alright, so with all that being said, it was a bit of a mouthful. We're gonna go ahead and try and do that with the engine now. So, let's go ahead and get rid of this, and this, and this. Alright, we'll go ahead and place one of these on there. Bam! And we'll go ahead and delete the rest of these things because we don't need them here anymore. We don't need them there. All right, cool. We're going to go ahead and delete, like, all of it, <laughs> pretty much. There we go, good. And all of it up to there as well. Great. Now, from here, it's going to go sideways into there and also into here as well. So let's go ahead and mirror it. Here we go. All right, delete this on both sides. Go ahead and get one of these. Point it upwards, I guess. Yep, that's good. Go ahead and make it go sideways from there, I believe. Yep, just like so. And we'll drag it over. There we go. Beautiful. Nice. And then we just need to put that right there. And that's good. I think that's it. So before we were going like three or something like that, let's see how fast we go now. And there we go. We're going... Oh, no. We were going like four and a half. And now we're going a little bit faster than four and a half. <laughs> yeah, because we added the second engine or the third engine and we ended up going around this speed so it hasn't really changed too much to be totally honest with you um the only other thing that i can think of doing would be adding two diesels instead of three um medium engines but i i don't know how well that would go will they even fit let's have a little look so diesel die die <laughs> they're not called diesel engines anymore are they engine here we go um this one large engine okay will we be able to fit two of them in here oh this is gonna be tricky me very I can't see anything I can't see at all um right okay easiest way to check this is to go to the front where we've got the edge pieces and we could put them in like this and they wouldn't fit next to each other like that they wouldn't um they also wouldn't fit like this either they, it, it wouldn't fit like that interesting in very very interesting what if what if we somehow managed to delete the middle one? Oh, uh, no. We, we can't fit a big diesel in there. There's no way. There is no way we can fit a big diesel. Um, But we got three normal engines, and they seem to do us all right. They don't really speed us up at all, though. It's annoying. It's very annoying. They're one-to-one -one at the minute as well. If we make them three-to-two, then they're just going to go slower. They, they are literally, literally just going to go slower. So we were going 4.70. Let's start, try it now. We'll see what happens. All right. And with that ratio, we go 3.4. However, we, we will be using less fuel. Um, not that we even need the fuel. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of a whole load of fuel. Uh, we're going to make the fuel tank like half as big as it is. Uh, because it's it's massive at the minute. It's huge. So we're going to go ahead and delete that. There we go. That also means that we've got a whole load of room here to put whatever we want in it. Like we got so much room. We can put whatever. Anything. Put anything in here. What is this? We got a hole in the floor. That's okay. Right, fill that in. We're gonna go ahead and put some ladders on this side as well. Okay. Like so. Good. We're gonna go ahead and put some ladders here as well. Alright. Just like... I guess like that. Yep. Good. Delete this. Go ahead and put this across. Bam. Same on this side. We'll go ahead and do that there as well. Yep. Good. And, um... Yeah. There we go. We got a little bit of room. I don't know what we would put in here. Gonna be honest. But it's cool to be able to stand up, I suppose, and walk through. Um, that should really mess with the weight of this thing. Because we're going to have more weight at the back, which is interesting. 
But if we get rid of some weight, then um, it might go faster, basically. Yeah. It is drifting, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Hmm. But yeah, I, I don't feel like we're going to really mess with the uh, the engines that much. So let's go and put them back to one-to-one. -to -one. We don't really need to worry about fuel very much because, I don't know, the fuel seems to last forever. Or maybe for a long time, so that's good. Um, and yeah, there was a comment the other day where they said we should be able to do custom ratios. So it doesn't matter which way the arrows are pointing. We could go to like 1 to 9 or 9 to 1. And I feel like that's actually a pretty cool idea. I like it. I like that idea. Anyway, right now we're going to go ahead and start dealing with our situation with these things. Um, wherever they are. Where are they? These things. And hopefully we can get it working. Because, yeah, we have issues, don't we? We, we definitely have issues. The power isn't actually connected to this. But if it was, then everything would work. Like, literally everything would work. We've only done it on one side, but if we spawn it in, let's see if it works. Alright, so it should be the one on the right which is working, and it is. It is actually working. This door isn't, though. Why isn't this door working? That is, like, attached to the main thing. So that is, like, one of the only things that I would expect to be working. What is, what is going on here? Alright, attach that to there as well. Alright, good. That means that the door should start working now. Uh, then if we go to the logic, we need this to disconnect when we press this button. Yeah. When we want to launch, we just we just go. What is this for? Oh, okay, number. Number. We just need a number. There we go, like this. Alright, and that's going to go, I guess, inside here as well. Oh, Jeebus. Oh, Jeebus. There's so much to do. Uh, one and zero. Okay, we can actually delete this, and we can just go whammo on. Good. All right, nice. So that should work. It should open up really fast, and when I press the button, it should go. Maybe. I think. I don't know. All right, here we go. We are downstairs, and the door has closed. If we go ahead and push this button, then it opens. This one, however, does not. <laughs> Why doesn't that open? Oh, that's so annoying. We need to make a microcontroller to make that one open as well. Because at the minute it is attached to both, but it won't actually send it to this one, uh, because it it just it just won't, which is really annoying, really 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 annoying. Um, okay, that's fine. That is that is just fine. Um, what else can we do? Like, I guess we just need to make the microcontroller so it works, and then once it works, we're good to go. Maybe I don't think this will ever work either. I don't think it will, but um. I suppose it's possible that it it does. I don't know. If I push this, what happens? The door doesn't open. The door the door isn't opening. However, that might be because the electric uh they're they're attached. Okay. It should work. It should. But it doesn't. It sh it, it actually doesn't open. Unless it's trying to open the the wrong way. Well done, let's try this. Minus one. Alright, try it again. Spawn it in. We'll see what happens. Nope. Not at all. Not at all. And I know why. It's because, um... Wait, hold on. We need to check something out as well. So, uh... We're gonna get a rocket, okay? And we're gonna paste it on the outside. That's okay. We're gonna get a rocket and we're gonna paste it on the outside. I just wanna see if they work underwater, that's all. So, we're going to go ahead and do, I don't know, something like this. Good. Then we'll do this. And then we need an on button. Um, logic, I guess. And we need a constant number. No, the other one. Constant on signal. That would go like there. Alright, logic it straight away to its thing, which is this. Good. We'll do it on the other side as well, just to, just to make sure. There we go. Beautiful. Spawn it in. See what happens. Oh, they're not even underwater. Now it is. And it is working. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. All right. That was just a test. Let's delete them now. <laughs> okay. So what do we actually need in this logic? We need to be able to send this through um, something into there. Okay. Right. Uh, interesting. Very interesting. So we need a green one. And we also need a, a pink one. One green one, one pink one. That's it, I think. Microcontroller, logic, add, one one pink one. Okay, one green one. Uh, good. There we go. They're both going to be... 
No, one, I think they're going to be like opposite. One's an input, one's an output, right? Yeah, good. And then we obviously need the thingamabobby, which is going to be the composite. Good. One's being sent and one's... Oh, this is so frustrating. I haven't really done it where they've done two things, if that makes sense. Because this is an input, which would only work to send an output, if that makes sense. Or maybe it wouldn't. Oh, I don't know. You see, this is why I kind of didn't mess with uh, microcontrollers for a while, but it is definitely possible to do what I want to do. It's just, uh, I'm not entirely sure how to do it. So I'll end up doing that eventually. Probably not recording it because it'll take me a while because I'm slow. But, um, yeah, eventually we'll have, we'll have these working. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Um, right, okay. Let's go ahead and just make it look pretty for now. Um, somebody said that we needed, like, a radar room. That is not a bad idea, I suppose. So we'll go ahead and make a radar room now, maybe, or something like that, okay? We'll just actually, we'll section out the rooms before we do anything else. We've got a little bit of an area right here, so we can, we can fit a room in, um, here, maybe. I don't know, I was thinking if this worked, then we could copy and paste it again and have another one. That would work, actually, wouldn't it? Um, but yeah, radar room could go right here on both sides. I kind of want, like, another camera room kind of thing. That makes sense. I think it does. And then I need a door. We need a door for both of them. Um, one on each side. Yep, that's okay. Go ahead and shove this in here. Like this. Bam. Good. And you know what? We'll get rid of this. We'll get rid of it. There we go. Good. We'll put this in instead. Fantastic. And we'll put one in across the top as well. Alright, there we go. Good. Alright, I need the buttons. I need buttons. All right, good. We go ahead and put this in here. Fantastic. We'll logic it together. So that goes to there. This goes to here. And then we'll give them all power. Because that's what they need. The power. Good. Connect that to there. Connect that one to there as well. And that's it. We got doors. Good. Okay. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh, and what we're going to do in the corners as well is we're going to have to put these pieces in. Also... Somebody came up with the idea of a, like, a winch, um, uh, oh, what, what was it, what was it, like a rocket winch, if that makes sense. So we could use it for, like, refueling and stuff, and I don't think that's a bad idea, but at the minute, I don't think we can even refuel this thing. We've, we've got no, we got nowhere to refuel it from. That'll probably go on the back, actually. That's a good idea. That's a good point. Um, but yeah, we, like a refueling winch. So if we grabbed a winch, okay. Um, it was like a rocket grapple hook, is, is what he said. And that is not a bad idea. Because if we needed to refuel, we could go ahead and just use this. We could fire it at, I don't know, a fuel tank, for example. And then we could, um, we could refuel. That's not a bad idea, is it? Maybe it is. I don't know. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. I don't really know what else to do with this thing, I'm gonna be honest. Um, I need to fix those rooms, the, the, the rocket pods. But other than that, I'm actually uh, I'm actually quite happy with it. And uh, to be honest, I'm probably ready to uh, let it go. To be yeah, probably ready to get let it go. So um, yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'm in a bit of a um a, a mood, not a mood. I just don't feel very well at the minute. So uh, I don't have many ideas. But for right now, I'm gonna leave this here. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. If you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments down below. I tend to read all of them. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.